So it's Saturday morning and we're making a trip to Ontario. We did almost the exact same trip last year. We had a new van on the market and we went for a fall trip to my childhood cottage. But a lot has changed since then. Feeling burnt out last fall, we decided to just stop building vans and reassess our priorities. We tried to focus on YouTube for a while. We got engaged. Do you want to marry me? Yeah. <laughs> and after all that, we decided that we couldn't keep building vans the way that we used to. We decided that we wanted some space in our work life, and I decided to semi-retire from the van business. In April, I accepted a job as a project coordinator for a custom home builder here in Halifax. I do feel proud when I reflect on the fact that the only reason that I qualified for this job is because of everything that I taught myself throughout our camper van business, which is pretty cool that it led me to here. I, on the other hand, decided to restart the business and build another van. Now, after an arduous five months, I've completed a van that I'm super proud of and we're heading back to Muskoka to reset. All right, so we're one hour into our trip and gonna make our first stop for gas, but also, if you're Canadian, you know where we're going. Any guesses? Gonna play a little game of guess how much we spent. I mean, I know, so I'm, <laughs> I'm asking you to guess. Me? $105. $105, wow. <laughs> Is that high? That's low. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one chance to change your answer. <laughs> 161.9. Oh my goodness. It just came into yeah, Martin's and there's here. like 80 million old people in here. <laughs> <laughs> what vlog are you doing right now? Just the elderly? Just the, that there's a long lineup basically. So you thought, may as well just not get in line. <laughs> may as well not get in line. I'm gonna like do this on the app Wait, and then I'm gonna collect in mobile. Yeah. Okay. There's some fresh caught. Landlocked salmon. You don't have to yell. <laughs> right. Put my crust. I feel tired. All right, check this out. This little edge that I did, I'm very proud of it. I think it turned out really good. I think the move for anyone finishing this wall who's like not a full-time builder, I wouldn't do it like this because it was a little bit more work. You should really just try to like straighten it off somewhere. But I wasn't really thinking and I like cut my walls to that shape and everything and I was trying to figure out how to finish this edge. But I ended up figuring out you could use PVC trim and use a heat gun to like bend it to shape. So that's what I did. I think it looks pretty good. I'm proud of it. Let me know if I should do a little video on it. Getting back into van life was such a fun change of pace. We haven't had a camper that we've called our own since 2019, since we build them to sell or we build for clients. So these short trips are really all we get in our vans and they're really treasured moments. But we also had an agenda on this trip. We have a couple van viewings lined up, so as we were nearing the city, we figured it was time to start preparing. So we took a stop at the old car wash to get some bugs off the van, and then we headed to the beautiful countryside of Caledon in Ontario. Then it was off to our second viewing in Wasaga Beach. And after an impromptu viewing with some Wasaga Beach locals, we had our other scheduled viewing for that day. Now that we work in an actual shop instead of just on the side of the road, we don't get a lot of visitors. So I do really love having random people pop in to check out the vans. This was our first time using lav mics and for some reason the audio here didn't record. But check out my passenger princess setup. I hung my iPad from the sun visor and I had Netflix for the drive back. Absolute pro move, I must say. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Good morning from Muskoka. As you can see, we arrived at James's cabin last night. James's dad had a beautiful dinner set up for us. His aunt and uncle were visiting. So we had a little bit of food and wine out on the dock. And James and I got to stay in the guest house, the bunkie last night. So this morning. All right, real quick, I feel like I need to explain what you're gonna hear. Again, new to using lav mics. Basically, I was wearing my mic in the other room, even though I wasn't in the scene with Jenny. So you're gonna hear me pouring water into a jug. It's not what it sounds like, okay? I'm pouring water into a jug, you'll see. James got up and he really wanted to go for a swim and practically drug me out into the water, but I did get in. And I will say it's October 1st or 2nd, so it's, it's fully fall here. So I reluctantly got in. It was really cold, but it was really fun, so don't tell him I said that. <laughs> and now James is... Getting the coffee going. Trying to figure out this machine. It's breakfast time. James gets all worked up whenever we like do stuff in the kitchen. Gets back to his old kitchen days. I do. At Brown's social house. Yep. You know, you're just working on a line cookie. You just sort of. Our 
right, let's take this out to the dock. After breakfast, we took a walk around the property to see some of the updates that my family's done. I'm so lucky to have an incredibly talented uncle who's built additional units to accommodate the growing family, including our bunkie, a legitimate tree house. Took a number of trees down, eh? And now his newest creation, the cabin. All right, well, I'll get this over there. We are quite lucky to be getting this kind of weather in October. Seriously. It's wild. I haven't showered in a few days. Really? I haven't needed to. We've got the lake. We're about to play one of my all-time favorite pastime activities to do while we're at the cottage, which is smacking golf balls into the lake, and then we're gonna go swim for them and get them. This is sort of the perfect location for it. We've got that little island out there that we like to hit them towards, and the water's not too deep, so we can go out and swim and get them after, and it's just a lot of fun. You just crack balls and have a good time. Well, and I just remembered that's why. I normally set up some pads on there, there but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna try the, the wooden pad. All right, next up to the plate, Jenny Saunders. It's Jenny's first season out here in Muskoka, and oh, <laughs> oh my God. she is no rookie. Holy. <laughs> that, that, that was really, a good one. That really cracked. That was like right in front of the eye right there. <laughs> Jenny's just crushing them. Oh, next to that little rock there. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. That was past the island. You're trying to show me up or something? Oh, oh man. So high. Oh. Oh. Wow. Same spot. Same spot. Just do a few more here and then go over, heat up, go for a swim. Sure. Okay. Can yeah. you go get that ball? Yeah, sure, no problem. So Jenny and I are always looking for ways to minimize and streamline our belongings, which is why we're super excited to be partnered with Exter for this video. My new wallet and our keychains are made by Exter and they carry our essential belongings in a really tidy fashion. My favorite part about this little key case is that there's rubber gaskets between all of your keys. So it keeps all of your keys really compact into this one little case. And that way you only have these two little items on your keychain. It's just so nice and minimal. So I've got the Parliament wallet and it prioritizes storage for cards cards instead of cash because we're not really in a cash society anymore. Although it does have a little money clip just in case. Casual fresh hundo in there. <laughs> Super cash. My favorite thing about my Apple Watch is being able to ding it whenever I lose my phone. Oh, there it is. How'd that get over there? But if I lost my wallet or my keys, I used to have to look the old fashioned way, but not anymore. Exter also makes custom trackers for your wallet and your keys so that you never lose them again. This tracker in the wallet is also solar powered, so you just need to put it in the sun for two hours to last you three months. I think that's pretty cool. Another thing that's super cool is both the wallet tracker and the key tracker can find your phone. I've got my little key tracker here, double click, and my phone starts buzzing. That's so sick. James is always jealous of my Apple Watch because I can always just ding it and, and find, find my phone. phone. Yeah. It's surprisingly useful, so he's able to join the squad now. Yep. If you use our link in the description and the code MOONLIT when you check out, you can get up to 55% off your order. So definitely go check that out now. And thanks again to Exter for sponsoring this video. I'm getting absolutely obliterated right now. James usually wins. I mean, the game's not over, so we won't count him out yet, but. <laughs> for this moment. <laughs> I just won my first chess game of this relationship. Is that your first? Yes. You've never won? I've never won. Oh my goodness. And Congratulations. I, I smoked you. <laughs> Dude, you smoked me. Play again? Right now. Maybe I need to win. Shame's needs redemption. Scared, Potter. You wish. <laughs> you wish.
chemicals fit. Hey gang, so we're here in Muskoka and we've had some really nice summer weather. I feel like we've been so lucky to get this in October. It's been 28 degrees, the water's warm, it's sunny right now. <laughs> okay. It's not warm. It's warm for October. Yeah, it is. it's warm for October. But yeah, so I just feel so lucky. Like when we were planning this trip, we fully thought it was gonna be, you know, fireplace on, just getting cozy in the cabin, a little rain outside, drinking your coffee. But it's been none of that. I mean, we've been drinking coffee, but in the sun, so. Yeah. It's been good. Bathing suits on, literally like basking, just uh, sunbathing, it's nice. Yeah, but it sounds like fall is on the way. We're supposed to be getting rain possibly tonight, possibly tomorrow, possibly for the rest of the week. So what are we doing? Well, we just did a little shoot for like Instagram Reels slash TikTok. We hadn't had a lot of uh, content like that. We had filmed our van tour before, but we didn't really have a lot of like vertical stuff and short form. Yeah. So we just had a little shoot. I don't know. Now what? So today my dad did want to get my dad did want to get this shelter set up to sort of protect some things that are on the deck over the winter. So I think we're going to get that set up. Other than that, I think we should just go enjoy the rest of the sun that we have for today. Okay. There's probably like two hours left. Okay. We're going to go do some hard chilling then. <laughs> See you in a bit. I think you just missed the last little bit of sun. Yeah, looks like it. Got some chocolate milk though. I think I'm okay. So as you can see, we've had a ton of pine needles fall today. I can't believe this is one day. And so I was just gonna sweep them right off the deck when James's dad, Martin, came out and he told me I was being a pleb. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say that. <laughs> and this is how the cool kids do it. Let's do it. Oh yeah, turn her off. Got some wedges in the oven. Our burger tonight. What's going on out here? Can't you tell? Barbecuing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Our time at the cottage so far has been so nice and it's also been a reflection of how we used to live when we were in a van. We would just relax and slow down more, you know? And it's because of this free time that we get commissioned to do things like this. We've got a Martin job on our hands. I really don't think this is going to be worth it. As you can see, this chair is... Decrepit. <sighs> Seen better days. We've been commissioned to glue this chair back together. Let's see if it can be done. Place your bets, people. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to like go a little bit, but it's not going to last. It is not going to last. So we've wanted to go kayaking all day, or I have, and there's been rain on the forecast, so we've sort of just been pushing it off, but then the rain has also been holding off, and it says it's still gonna rain, and I'm just not believing it anymore, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm ready for you to be in that boat. Move that butt. She's like, my, my leg's supposed to go in there? Yeah, yeah she's tight. Jenny was dragging her heels, getting out here. Now it starts raining and she is sprinting back home. Oh man, we're just getting started. Two seconds later. Oh, it is, it is coming down on Jenny and James now. Oh dear, look at her running away. Oh. <laughs> okay, do you want me to save your shoes? I think I can wet. Oh, I'm gonna miss them. Sorry, we did not make it very far. The rain did, in fact, come. You can't say we didn't see that one coming. Because we did. In fact, uh, your phone told you 21 minutes. Expected the rainfall. I was trusting it all day, and I felt betrayed. Wasted a good couple hours where could have just been out there, could have done our whole trip, but nope. Good morning, people. We have had a pretty lazy morning, got a little fire going. It's definitely cooling down a fair bit. Mm -hmm. And Jenny's getting right into her puzzle. Puzzling? I think I'm gonna do a morning dip. Let's get this day going. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Good morning. Woo! Yeah, it's definitely getting pretty cold. But that feeling when you get out, just buzzing. Man. Oh, you uh, yeah, I'm definitely chilled. Ooh, definitely a little warmer in here. 
That is a lovely sight. Don't look. In other news. This is a really difficult puzzle. The pieces are like e odd and like weirdly shaped and like. What did, what did you say? E odd? Yeah, e odd. I don't think I've ever heard that word. I don't know how they're supposed to be. Anyways, so it's been really, really hard. Plus, I've been doing it all by myself. It's quite a different sight this morning compared to the previous few. It's definitely getting quite chilly here. Man, it is crazy how fast it gets cold here. We're leaving the cottage today, starting the drive east, and it's getting a little chaotic. I didn't realize we had this much stuff with us. We also got a little wedding gift from my Nana, which is really nice. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to pack the van with. All right, so we had our last little visit with the family and a few of them have headed off now and James is just outside with his dad doing a few extra tasks before we leave. So James is outside doing some boy work and I'm just inside here enjoying my last moments of the cottage and finishing up our packing and get some laundry on. So my chocolate filled croissant part of it dropped onto my light pink sweater this morning so all morning i've been trying to add uh, like oxyclean to try to get the stain out but it's um being pretty stubborn so if you got any tips drop them Alrighty. so we had a bunch of things to do this morning we got the roof box on and the roof rails we moved all the chairs from over there to over here we moved all the boats from down there up onto the deck. We disassembled my dad's boathouse B&B &B setup. <laughs> my dad's been sleeping in the boathouse for the past couple years when he's been up here because he likes the rustic feel right down by the water. He likes to hear the, the water ripple. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, got a lot of work done. It's been a little wet, but now one thing left, pack the van. Damn feeling lucky. It is the last road trip. Caught up in these talks, circling my head top. Should have been more cautious. Now I got what I want. It was great to see you again. Really nice to see you guys. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Good to see you, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah it's good to see you guys again. All right, ready to make our way to Ottawa. First stop, and we gotta get gas. <laughs> and James's dad is in the classic wave till you I can't, can't see, see us no more. <laughs> Now, you're probably wondering what happened to the van. Well, as you may have guessed, it's now in the hands of its new owner and we packed our things and flew home. Letting go of our creations is always bittersweet, but it's also why we build them in the first place, so it has to be done. And now, on to the next one.